morning. Good morning. It's a Thursday and it is day 69. Is it? Is it? It must be. I think it is. Is it day 69? That has no relevance. It's just a, it's just a big number. Ah, it's a cold day. Very cold day. And um, yeah. But it's a new one. It's a new day. New things to do. And I sound very fun. Plan for later. So best stick around. This is what my room's looking like at the moment. It's a mess, isn't it? Kind of sucks. But it's a job that has to get done. Is it nearly done? No. It is nowhere near done, but we've made some good progress. Now, on to the topic of today's video. <sighs> a few weeks back, I did a video about vintage lenses, why they're good, and I tried to use one of mine unsuccessfully. Turns out, the camera can't really do that. But I have a friend, so Charlie is a cool dude. He also uses cameras quite a lot on his own channel, as well as his own films and his freelance work. Now, Charlie has just purchased a set of lenses, a set of old vintage FD lenses that look look absolutely fantastic and we thought we'd give it a go today comparing modern lenses compared to vintage lenses to see how they compare. Now the rules are is that, that we'll both take pictures with these lenses and we're going to discuss them at the end. We're going to take three photos, one with a 24mm, one with a 50mm and one with a 75mm plus. This is the focal length we're talking about and we're going to compare them, we're going to see how they look and I'm sure he has loads of tips for people looking into vintage lenses because he's done it before, he's fixed up vintage lenses. He's very good with that type of stuff so without further ado let's uh, get these pictures. Yeah, only only a slight problem, meaning that I'm gonna have to get my my photos inside the house. Let me call up Charlie, see what he's doing. Because Charlie's on the other side of the country, so it might not even be raining over there. I'll see what if he's got anything at the moment. Charlie, I'm doing good. I'm wondering, have you uh, do you have do you have rain in your area? I've had rain. It's yeah. not raining up right now. This is what my situation's like, and I haven't even got the photos yet. Uh, no, right, because I was going to speak to you about that. I'm going to have to send you videos. Videos, yeah, sure. That's fine. Cool. Even better. What do, want, do you want, what do you want me to be off? Just like anything? Literally anything. I just need a 24, a 50. I was going to do my 24, my 50, and my 85. 85, okay, I'll show you 85 as well. Awesome. Okay. Right, awesome. Cheers, Charlie. See you in a bit. Yeah, I've got to get my photography stuff now. It's not even a photography video. Oh, it's kind of cool. I'm trying to vlog here. You're, you're, you're chattering away. Rubbish. For God's sake. I thought, do you know what? To be fair, we did find a lot of rubbish. Yeah, okay, lots of rubbish. Lots of rubbish, cheers, man. <laughs> oh, God. Stop! That is so loud. Why are you doing it on purpose? <laughs> So now I've got to get the videos, and then we can compare it with Charlie, see how he does with the FD lenses. So, this is me trying to get the footage in the house. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're going GoPro mode. On the camera, this is going to look sick. Right, okay, so I need to transfer that over to my... What we're going to do first? Let's get you off. off here. here we go. Where is it? Yeah. I'm thinking, because of the 1.4 aperture with this lens, I want to get full focus. Oh, that was nice. Alright. So that was that good. Let's get one more. Right in. Alright, let's get one more time for safety. I like that. Right, that's the silver, that's the 50. Now, all we have is just a chunky boy. Alright, let's get him on there. There we go, big boy. Right, let's see what we can get. Ooh, and that's done. That's all my free clips. Let's take it to the edit. Wow, huzzah. Cool, let's go. Right, here we go. Right, so, it's the next day, and I'm joined here now with Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Max. How's it Maximus, going? my good friend. It is going good. How is it going for you? It's going very well, thank you. It's been a, event, a very eventful day. We've had, we've, been, we've had some challenges with the weather, I think. We've Definitely. Had... I, I tried to go out to shoot earlier. I was all ready to go out into the woods, and I just ended up shooting out the window in my back garden. It's, uh, the weather's not been very nice to us, but not we've still best. got the clips. The what, what lenses did you use? We should probably start so, with that. I, I started off, so I've used, I used three prime lenses for this. Um, so I use vintage Canon FD lenses, so I used a 24mm f2.8, I used a 50mm f1.4, and I used an 85 f1.8, um, and I mounted those onto the Blackmagic with just a dumb adapter, so it has like a one9 times crop compared to full frame, uh, which is something to take in mind. So I've got these lenses recently, I've been slowly like building a collection, and I just absolutely love the look that they give off at the moment, so yeah. Yeah, that's that's what these clips were shot on, they're just those three. Awesome, so, so what's it like having a modern body with old vintage lenses? My oldest one I think is 
probably coming up to 50 years old. Wow. Yeah, I absolutely love the look because I, I like, I get, you get the best of both because I still get to shoot like 12-bit Black Magic Raw. I should have, still get to shoot in like 4K and like the, I shot like 4K widescreen here. At the same time, you get this kind of it's like filmic look. I can't quite describe it. Like the highlights are a bit softer. They're not as like sharp, quite like the look they give and like the way they render. Without further ado, I think it's about time we share our clips. So, um... all right. Shall I go first? Go ahead. Uh, you've disabled screen sharing. Have I? Well, yeah. that's just upgraded. <laughs> I'm so prepared for this. Right, so let's start off. This is um, the Boca from the 85. Um, so this is on, This is the, that's the 24, 248. Oh. And so is that. Um, that is the 85. That that gave me major... That, that's, the eight, that's the 85. And then we've got this nice shot of flowers with a 50. Very nice. I shot these all, all all wide open on the lenses. Uh, that's a fifty-two. Uh, so is this? Oh, I just cute. love like the the focus is so soft on them. I think that's the fifty as well. Like I'm a bit I'm a big fan. It's like the it's really fast because it's fifty-one four. Here you go. You can see why I can't go outside. Yeah, <laughs> that's no, the right. <laughs> oh, that's a super nice shot. I think that's the eighty-five. <laughs> Thing a lot of people forget with like lenses, it doesn't really change the body if that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Like, how much has realistically changed in a lens? Yeah, um, apart from autofocus, like obviously none of these lenses have autofocus. But oh my god, I just love the creamy, the creamy bokeh on the eighty-five. So nice. Yeah, awesome, right? Now cool. it's time for my right. guy. This was done with yes. modern lenses. I just got three clips. Uh, so I had some money in Premiere Pro. Here we go. So this is the 24. Is it that, this is the, the 24 1.4 from, from Sigma, right? Yeah. Oh, see, I just look, the Sigma lenses are so sharp. That is yeah. like, hands down, one of the best things about them. Every, it's so clean and so sharp, edge to edge. And this is the 50 1.8. Classic lens. I love that lens. I'd say probably one of the best value for money lenses you can get. 100% one of the best value money lenses. I've still got it. Um, just sat on my shelf. And this is with my 75 to 300. I'm pretty sure you can see the warp stabilizer there. <laughs> um, you see, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Three very specific looks that you get. Yeah, de definitely. But I feel like these are, if, you, if I could only pick three focal lengths, this would definitely be it. I'd have a 24, 50, and 85. Yeah, it gives you that dynamic range for when you're on a shoot. All you get wide, you get tight. Exactly. Fifty's nice in the middle. Lenses are definitely something you should probably invest in, especially if you're going for a a set. That that's that's another thing with vintage lenses, especially when the cost of lenses goes down. And yet, exactly. Still, at the end of the day, like those the quality is still just as good. Yeah, there's not much separating R2 clips and like my lenses are exactly forty five years older. Yeah, exactly. Younger, sorry. That's <laughs> It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Our lenses, they haven't really changed that much. The biggest advancements in lenses have 100% been in autofocus. So if you're not using autofocus, then there are there are definitely you know cheaper vintage options yeah. out there. I don't think I can ever live without autofocus. I'm awful with focus. Stabilizers, some of the lenses have today. Yeah, don't have that either. <laughs> exactly. It's a. Uh, if you don't worry about that type of stuff, that's kind of where the separation between vintage and modern lenses come in. It's uh, you, something you have to think about what you're going to be shooting. Right, thank you so much for joining me today, as always, Charlie. No worries, no worries. And uh, thank you for those lovely clips. And um, yeah, that basically does it for today. Thank you for joining us. And as always, if you enjoyed, make sure you check out the other videos on the channel. Make sure you leave a like and also subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you later.